So what prompted you to update the book? What were the, some of the things that were like, all right, I need to address this for this new yep. crop of artists coming up? Absolutely. And and uh, the, the plan is to update the book every three years uh, mm. in perpetuity. And because things shift and change so frequently, you know, I try to stay ahead of the curve and I try to see where the trends are heading. So mm -hmm. when the book hits the shelves, I'm still a little bit ahead. And then by the time the next edition comes out, sure, the old edition is a little bit behind, but mm -hmm. then it kind of leads right in and passes the torch off to the next edition. So it kind of keeps <laughs> right. this flow going. Um, but, uh, you know, yes, with the new edition, I added about 50 pages of new information. Mm -hmm. um, I completely rewrote the social media chapter, as you can mm -hmm. imagine, is what's right. needed. Um, but the thing is, is how I approach the social media chapter and pretty much everything in the book. I don't say, for instance, use top spin or anything mm -hmm. like that because things come and go and platforms could die and whatnot. Um, I might say this artist used top spin and mm. used it in this way and it was successful for them. Look at platforms and avenues and, and programs um, that can be useful similar to that. So there are stories, a lot of stories that I tell of, of artists, how they've used these um, platforms successfully. Um, but some of the biggest changes in the last three years that I really wanted to highlight with this next edition um, well, for one, um, you know, streaming uh, has really exploded. And of course, it was a thing in 2016. But, you know, and Spotify playlists, for instance, were a thing in 2016. But entire mm -hmm. ecosystems have popped up within the Spotify world uh, within Spotify playlists. There are, yeah. you know, playlist promotions companies and there's uh, user generated playlists and there's algorithmic playlists now that are more powerful than the standard uh, created by Spotify playlists. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to touch on that. I really went deep on how the Spotify playlist uh, situation has has come and, and what's happening there. Um, but also I wanted to touch on direct marketing because that's something that's really exploded. Um, I've recently profiled a hip hop artist named Lucidius who he built up uh, his career uh, actually to a point where he is getting 5 million streams a month, uh, making around $20,000 every month just from streaming wow. without any playlists. He's on zero official playlists. He's on no playlist. He has no record label and he's got no manager. And this is, uh, and so he did all this through direct marketing, through Facebook and Instagram advertising, mm. which is something, you know, three years ago, sure, Facebook advertising was a thing. Instagram advertising was not a thing. Right. Um, Instagram story ads just launched about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that, you know, artists have latched on to these new technologies very quickly. And the, the ones that have figured out how to make it work for them are the ones that succeed very quickly right away, like Lucidius. And so mm -hmm. I tell his story. I talk about how direct marketing can be effective. Um, in the social media chapter, I also uh, discuss Instagram musicians, which have since become a thing. They weren't a thing in uh, 2016. Mm. Um, you know, YouTubers were a thing in 2016, but they're much less of a thing now. Right. Uh, it's a very different way that people are operating on YouTube than they were. Um, and then also I dig into, um, over the years, I, uh, I get a lot of Instagram DMs from artists who have read the book and they you know, will either say they loved it or they'll say they have questions about it. And so I've kind of kept a running list of um, questions that I've received or things that maybe weren't super clear that needed clarifying. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of keep this running note sheet going. Um, other things that I've kind of um, updated uh, is really creating your um, the art, artist branding in your entire artist world um, mm -hmm. is something that, you know, as we're in this new era where we have to develop ourselves on our own and it's not as much labels and publicists kind of helping craft that image yet, um, it's really important for artists to um, really understand themselves and, and, and develop that world. And so I kind of touch on that um, as well. And then, you know, other things like Music Modernization Act went into, got signed into law. And so royalties have changed and the ways mm -hmm. that you can collect money. Uh, I made the book much more global uh, mm -hmm. before it was very U.S. focused. And since people have been reading it all over the world, I updated um, how you can collect royalties from all over the world and how you can succeed um, all over the world. And so, yeah, a lot of those. Gotcha. Things. Nice.